Hello everyone, we're going to be doing some more uh, green tip testing today with the 10 and a half inch AR. Okay, so we shot this mild steel yesterday at 200 yards. So at 200 yards when I shot it with uh, uh, target ammo with like Tula and um, Wolf 193, um, it barely left an imprint on the surface, right? So, I mean, you, you can feel an imprint, but that's it. All right, there's another one like right there. So just barely left an imprint with the target ammo. But when I shot it with the green tips at 200 yards, I mean, we got some nice penetration. So that one's like a point, almost a point two uh, or point one nine two. Okay, and here's another one. So this is at 200 yards with the green tips out of the tuna, out of the... Uh, Ten and a half inch. That's a point point one point one nine five. Okay, so these aren't perfect measurements because depending on what angle you go into, it's going to be a little off, and also it cratered out a little bit. But that gives you an idea. There's another one over here that went in at a, at a hit right on the edge over there. So that one is a uh a, a point point one seven eight okay point one seven eight so that kind of gives you an idea what the green tips are gonna do out of a ten and a half inch um at uh, at uh two hundred yards okay now by comparison when I shot it out of, when I shot target ammo out of an eighteen inch barrel right out of an eighteen inch barrel it left these craters here. So the craters were, it, it, it made a wider crater, but not as deep. So with the target ammo, that's a point one four two, okay? Point one four four two. So, so the green tips on the steel at 200 yards, definitely a lot more effective. So today I wanna see like at 30 yards, like how deep can we get into this uh, steel plate uh, with those green tips. So uh, let's take a look at the thickness here of this mild steel All right, so it's a little bit more than half an inch point five Three four, okay, so We're gonna shoot this and we're gonna see how deep the ten and a half inch will get us I already did a video like a couple years ago where I shot this uh, steel here out of an 18 inch, I don't know, out of a 16 inch barrel. I have that posted, but today I want to see what this does for us. Let me just get this because I don't want to get paint on the other targets. What I'm going to do is I'm just put that there, get my glasses out of the way, get this out of the way. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint this black so after I hit it, uh, we can easily see the new hit. Okay, so we'll let that dry for a minute. Um, and what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to prop it up here in the dirt. I'm not going to, it's not going to be like secured or anything. So it will have some give. Actually, hold on, let me pause this. Okay, this is where we're going to shoot it. Okay, that should be far enough because I don't want to take a chance of hitting the other target over here. But that should be far enough from that one and this one off to the left here that um, there's no chance. Now, um, here's the thing, I haven't like... I haven't shot these green tips out of this 10 and a half inch at this distance at such a small target, you know. So I think, because uh, it has a 50 yard zero, I'm probably going to have to go put my chevron towards the uh, towards the top because it probably is not going to have a full rise. Because it's got, if it's got a 50 yard zero at 30 yards, it should be hitting a little bit low. So I'm going to put my tip up here and I should get impact someplace down here. So... Let's go take a look at this. Let's go take, shoot this and see what happens. All right, so I have that target set at 30 yards. We're shooting it with this uh, 10 and a half. Um, I have, I was able to find one loose round of uh, green tip. Um, so we're gonna shoot that. I think we only need to take one. I should be able to hit it. But if we do, uh, I got a whole box here. So we're using this Federal uh, what's it, XM855, okay? So, pistol brace uh, injunction still in effect. However, just to cover my ass, 
I got you guys on the left side so nobody can see if I'm shouldering it, not shouldering it, cheeking it, incidental contact, no contact, you know, nobody except me knows exactly what I'm doing. We got one hit towards the left edge. Oh, sorry, right edge. Hopefully, it wasn't too far off to the edge, and we're able to oh, pause the camera. All right, when I brought back the plate back here, just because it was easy to uh, measure it and uh, you know show it to you guys. So, uh, look at that crater, man. We just sunflowered it. That's at 30 yards with the green tip out of the 10 and a half inch AR. So let's get a measure over here. See if it's open. Okay, so, so let's get this into the deepest point of this crater. Okay, so we got a point three seven eight. Point three seven eight. Point three seven eight on mild steel uh, at thirty yards. Point three seven eight. That is pretty damn cool. <laughs> I'm just curious. Let's take a look at the back. Ah. The back side, well, oh, this is interesting. It actually cracked over here a little bit. It pushed out. There's a little bit of a crack. And uh, let me see. I'm trying to see if I can see it pushing out in the back. No, I really don't see it pushing out. It, 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 did, it did push out this way a little bit. A little bit over here. Yeah, from this angle, you can see how it curved out a little bit here as that opened up and put outward pressure on this side here so so yeah the um my thought is like you can increase the capability of your 10.5 inch ar uh with a 62 green with a 62 grain green tip um first of all the you know just because number one because of the bullet construction and also with the 62 grain um it's it's uh, for, uh, first the green tips are loaded a little bit hotter, and because it's a it's a heavier bullet, it's going to spend a little bit more time in your barrel, uh, which is going to give it a more complete burn, or more of a chance for it to, you know, to, 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 you know, more of it's going to burn. Now you're not going to have a complete burn, uh, as you guys saw in the video when I shot it. You could see the muzzle flash, uh, even in daylight. So that the muzzle flash is an indication that that all the gunpowder is not burning inside of the barrel okay but yeah putting green tips in your 10 and a half uh definitely increases the capability because um you know it i mean it's just it's just pretty cool man and and, and uh, uh i mean i mean i kind of expected this at at 30 yards but the real difference was yesterday when we were shooting it at 200 yards and we saw the difference between the target ammo uh, which just right there, like it just, it just, that's above my fingernail. It just dented the surface a little bit, right, at 200 yards. But at the same time, the green tips got good penetration at 200 yards, right? So that's when you really see the difference at 200 yards uh, plus those green tips. And, you know, even out to 300, I haven't tested these out at 300, uh, 300 yards, but I imagine at 300 yards, the, the you know, the green tips would, would really start, would really show uh, a, a significant uh, improvement over just using target ammo at 300 yards. And I was all the way out to 500 yards. I mean, you know, on soft, fleshy things, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, even, even 22s will work, you know. Um, so, anyway, those are the results. I think this is, like, ultra cool and <laughs> beautiful sunflower. 
let me show you guys the crater from the sides. You can see how they you see how they lift out. 